NPP portfolio will be decided after meeting with central leaders, says Chief Minister N. Biren. And Joy Kishan blames NPP BJP MLAs for involving Congress to pull down Chief Minister N. Biren. Good evening, you're tuned to English News at 7. Chief Minister N. Biren has stated that portfolios of the NPP legislators will be decided after discussion with the central leaders. Arrangement will be made soon to leave for Delhi to discuss the same. The Chief Minister was speaking at the inaugural program of the parking lot constructed over Naganala today. MLA of Yai School Constituency, T.H. Satyabratha, Commissioner of Mahud Nidhi Kesarwani, Director Hari Kumar and councillors were among those who attended the event organised by Mahud Department and IMC. Speaking further, the Chief Minister stated that the political crisis of the state can be considered resolved as the four NPP MLAs have submitted their letter of support to the Governor. However, their portfolios will be decided after holding talks with the central leaders as they suggested the same. On the other hand, Chief Minister N. Biren stated that the parking lot was set up for residents of Thangal Market to park their vehicles in view of the inconveniences facing the people as residents of the Thangal and Pauna Markets park their vehicles at the markets. He said, parking space for residents of Pauna Market will also be set up beside Johnstone Higher Secondary School, assuring that Mahud IMC and security personnel will take care of the vehicles. He appealed to the vehicle owners to park their vehicles at the parking space. <laughs> We support the government of the center 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 of the the center of 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 the center Toy, other young car and Maduna, government, the carrier, the effect of whatever the Gumadi to the Kulaiti and my son. The Chief Minister further said the parking lot has been built over Naganala to ease a traffic congestion that has been created due to residents of Thangal and Pauna markets parking their vehicles at both the markets. A parking lot will be constructed behind a Johnstone School for Pauna Market resident very soon. This, he, the set has not been constructed yet since the area is a containment zone. The chief minister has appealed to the vehicle owners to park vehicles at the allocated space. The Mahud IMC and security personnel will monitor to prevent any unwanted incident. <laughs> Temporary parking seme. containment zone MLA of Thangmai Banda Assembly Constituency, K.H. Joy Kishan, blamed the NPP and BJP MLAs for involving Congress to pull down Chief Minister N. Biren. Speaking to the media persons at Patsoi, he further said political crisis is not right amid COVID-19, but it has been but it has not been created by the Congress party. The NPP and BJP MLAs are responsible for the political crisis to change the state leader. There are certain instances where some BJP MLAs frequently visited residences of Congress MLAs to involve in the political crisis, but not inspired by the Congress to create political crisis.
He said it is due to their failure to achieve success in changing the state leader they opted to join Congress. The NPP leaders attempted to take the support of Congress thinking that they won't be successful in the next election if they are still under the BJP government. The Congress believed them and was compelled to support them as constitutional crisis might likely erupt since some ministers have resigned. People are well aware of NPP's statement. They have even resigned from the MLA post. MLA Joy Kishin said the NPP MLAs who can kill others alive have proved that their aim is not to work sincerely for the people but more interested in earning money for themselves. Manipur Pazamayamna. Leadership <laughs> ซีเอ็นบีโอเรเมอะคุยน่ะงาซีไอเนี่ยงาอีบดียามทีน่ะทีน่ะใส่ดนะงางงะมะกะโหจิจะมีนะครับอะพบวะอยู่ปุ่น
Yamna Mong Marin Taratraba, Adumu Gamin Muragadi, a Sigum Gamin as a quit Tajadi Hadana, a quit Taja the Wigimos in the Mopuka Paisa, Masigan Tantrik, Satna Vimani, Adugi Matungina, a quit Tobuni, whether one Gambaya and Gamda Vyadi, another question. Gamin as here Yadre, Prajagi Swartada, Tabuk Nitina Tobunga Matre, Nampu Hapunga to the Sina Air, Lebang Masatana, Togum, I am in the Toruk Tre. Adun Prajasingi Tunga, Akaya to Mamma, Labuk Tibum, Mamma Torka Dore, Adun Singu Gamena Se, with Tajati, heavy one, Ganatan Turkis and Vimatungina, a quit Togani, Madame D. Baro, the Se, Ganatan Tertapelevani, Sidadi, a quit Ganatan Turkin, Matungin, a quit Tabuk to Wotavani, Swai the Sunam Tasun, Toruka to Pose, Masi Ganatan Tertapelevak, the Dimasi Yaroi, Sinikuna Tonigis. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, Kada, observed the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking at the Conference Hall of Office Headquarters at Konumamang Purei Romba Kong today. President of Kada, Hichem Priyo Kumar, Amju President, Vijay Kapching Tabun, and former Kada President, Arambam Rabindra, were among those present at the observance. Secretary General of Kada, Gi Chandra Mangang, asserted that even though Chief Minister N. Biren has announced Nisa Thadoklasi program, it has not been implemented yet. Speaking on the occasion, Hicham Priyokumar said, the society is almost on the verge of extinction as the temptation of intoxicants has engulfed the people. He maintained that without the joint effort of all, the manis cannot be defeated. I couldn't have a District Police Thobal also observed International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking today. Personnel of the department, including women personnel, took out a march on the theme Better Knowledge for Better Life. Members of many civil society organizations also took part in the march that flagged off from Thobal Municipal Council ground and concluded at Thobal Police Station. Speaking on the occasion, SP Thobal Dr. S. Ibomcha said, despite war against drug campaign having conducted by police and civil society organizations for years, many youths in the society are still engulfed by the temptation of drugs, and as such, it is high time each and every individual took part in fight against drugs to bring about a healthy society. All for the three awesome rifles also observed International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking and also organized a felicitation program for successful students of Moray in the HSLC Examination 2020 conducted by Bossom at Integrated Check Post ICP Moray. CO 43 awesome rifles Sumit Sood, Manager ICP Robin Gangte, SDC More Brojendro, President of More Youth Club, Hazalala, were the main guests at the event. Speakers at the event enlightened the students and the youths on the menace of a drug abuse, its harmful effect on the society and on illicit drug trafficking. Students of different schools at Moray who passed the HSLC examination with flying colors were also encouraged with simple gifts on the occasion. Rajya Sabha MP Laysen Basana Chauba has emphasized the need for all to play the role of parents to orphans and children who have no one to look after them. He was speaking at a Nahut Naring ceremony of an orphan girl child at Poire Nawakon Achanbigay Koirengay, organized by Rajashri Bhagyachandra Cultural Foundation today.
MP Lesemba Sanat Chauba, who is also the chairman of Rajeshri Bhagya Chandra Cultural Foundation, said that expensive offerings to the God is not only the way to seek God's blessings, but reaching out to the needy. And helping in bringing up a children without parents is also part of religious deeds. Sikumba. Sigumba, <laughs> Quarantinees of VK Tona High School Quarantine Center at Chuachanpur who resisted medical team and police in discharging their duty on the morning of June 24 and indulged in defiant arguments have tendered unconditional apology to the district administration and Please? police. Sorry for Expressing regret, the quarantinees said they were extremely sorry for their misbehavior and for the video footage that went viral on the social media which cast aspersion on the integrity of police. They promised that a such unwanted incident won't happen again in future we are extremely sorry for our own misbehavior we the inmates of the Ketona high would like to express our sincere apologies to the district administrator district medical staff and district police team for whatsoever happened in this incident and also we will make sure that such incident will not happen again in the near future Publicity Secretary of Amada Kangembam Kopeshwar stated that the association has decided to withdraw their cease work strike launched yesterday, demanding equal pay at that MBBS doctors after the Secretary to Chief Minister has assured the mission director to translate the demands of the association into action within two weeks during a meeting. Speaking to media persons at a press meet, Gopeshwar said the Ayush doctors and the pharmacist will wear black badge on duty for the next two weeks and warned of intensifying their agitation from July 9 if their demands are not met within the next two weeks. <laughs> Tajaba Sibu Manghan Bira Agadi, July Gitang, Tara Dagidi, Ahoy Akanba, Makan Makhakiagi, Kongjung Sing, Nan Violent Oiva Education Kaya, One Manipur Ayus Doctor Association Gi Executive Member Sing Amadi, Pun Ayus Pharma Sissing the Punna Tanaraga, Hena Akanba, Strike Sang Terjar Kani, Habisu Tamzeri. Secretary of All Manipuri National Health Mission Employees Welfare Association, K.H. Jodha, has warned of launching various forms of agitation, including cease work strike, if contract staffs on the National Health Mission Manipur are not regularized by June 30. Addressing media persons at a press meet at Rims Road, Jodha further said, the staffs have been playing an important role in the health sector since 2006, working in far-flung areas of the valley and the hill districts. He said although contract staffs at different departments have been regularized in 2015, no staff has been taken out for the staffs under NHM. Although there are vacant posts in health department, NHM staffs are not taken into consideration by the department. Besides, some of the NHM staffs are now age-barred to apply for any other job, he added. Joda said the association has submitted a memorandum to the chief minister to regularize them on June 19 and warned of various forms of agitation if their demand is not translated into action by June 30. Nasi Pavada, two thousand six Tagi, Prasamiam Yamati Government, Gitabuk of the Dunulak Liba, National Helmets and Gistap Singasi, regular Tanaba, Cabinet and Natraganda, Manipur, the State Assembly, and Nasi of Kanabi Valetri, Lak Liba Tankutra, Junitan Kutra, Pavuki Manunda, Hadiba, and I shall be staff singing Sigi Maribasi, Kanabi the Taragadi, Zula Gitanga, the Gim Kalunga, Kayagi Kongjan Sanaba, Kushem Sabalojere, Prasamiam Nasu, and I shall be staff singing Munu Sibio, Amadis Hazok Pibio. 
President of Lomi Sinia Punbalub Lal Bashnupur District, M. Robert, has asserted that agricultural yield can be enhanced only when an agricultural policy, which will be effective for a long term, is formulated and when fertilizers are made available to the farmers on time. He also stated that the plight of the farmers is aggravated because of the instantaneous stabs of the department. He was speaking to media persons at Lal Bishnupur's temporary office at Ningtokong today. Robert further said the agricultural land in Bishnupur district is 26 hectare and the required fertilizer is 1,4,000 bags. The department has only 12 bags of fertilizer in stock while the required amount is 92 bags. Agriculture department na hanga ki oiba khuda khuda ki oiba har jenri policy asi tokpi raga tum koi na sana ga daba har gi system policy ma se department na simbiu department na su mari lena bas na su har se phangna ba gi thabak to onthok pira kani lamni sina nungai na phangmai mong da simbi ra oina su apil se tau jari Robert further said the dream of the Indian Prime Minister of being self-reliant can only be substantialized when the farmers are provided with required materials and a long-term policy is formulated. A team of Thobal District Police arrested a person along with 231 gram of heroin number 4 from the Long Turel Ahanbi Sirin Thong last night around 10 p.m. The arrested person has been identified as Muhammad Farooq of Lilong Turel Ahanbi Ubag Thong Maka. One year completion of the second term of Prime Minister Narendra Modi government was celebrated at Technical Training Center Yumnam Huidrom Awang Lekai, organized by Wangoi BJP Mandal, President of BJP Manipur Professor S. Tiken, Ex Minister Professor Kasim Reva and Khadi and Village Industrial Board KVIB Vice Chairman Yumnam Nilamani were the main guests on the occasion. Professor S. Tiken said the political crisis of the present government has been solved. BJP will put effort to prevent from happening such in future. <laughs> Mismanagement, maladministration for the last several decades. Koi mamang dalan ba sarkar sing na palinge matam thagi. Khan jinra dalan ba over shadow to dun dalan ba adung of fibham kaya do loy na hai do ya hai raga. Koi na samaj dalan ba koi ki thak koi hona zaba adung amadu dun amtha pire ba punha maksing do loy na lokto kaya hai raga. Women empowerment ki adung ba policy do ki makada. Upi ki punshi role ma ki tamakta paykat ba thorangi saruka mani. Nambol El Sanoi College Nambol Students Union provided a dinner to quarantinees, volunteers and security personnel last night staying at community quarantine centers set up for Nambol. Teaching and non-teaching staffs of the college, students, union volunteers, local volunteers led by Social and Cultural Secretary of Students Union, Soraisam Valu, son of S. Bota and S. Ongbi Angobi of Nambol Saban Lekai led the team and provided dinner to the quarantine centers. Soraisam Valu appealed to the people to extend support in government measures by building up the habit of extending help to one another. Moray College Moray continued to distribute a face mask and hand sanitizer to frontliners of COVID-19, ADC Moray, Moray Police of 43 Assam Rifles, Media and different quarantine centers set up at Forest Guest House, Jatribaz, All Communities Co, Autonomous District Council, Chandal Guest House. At the distribution of hand sanitizer manufactured by Moray College, many teachers were present on the occasion. ADC, police, Assam Rifles, media appreciated the gesture of Moray College, Moray. A team of Motbung police outpost Kangpokpi district led by OC Mangjalan Kibgen detained auto drivers violating COVID-19 lockdown and curfew in Motbung area. The auto drivers have been released after the team made aware of the dreaded disease. 
In the national news, operations to control the blowout and fire in Oil India Limited's OIL natural gas well in Tinsukia district of Assam have hit a hurdle with incessant rains causing floods and damaging a bridge near the site. The connecting roads to the Bagjan well, which has been spewing gas uncontrollably for nearly 30 days, have been submerged in flood waters. Currently, there is only one connecting road, Plastic Park Road, which is narrow at places, resulting in challenges in movement of men and material, according to an OIL statement. A bridge between Dumduma and Bagjan Road was also damaged due to heavy rains since the last three days. Personnel of the Singapore-based firm have visited the well site to assess debris clearing work in the post-flood situation. Meanwhile, the impact on oil and gas production due to protest led to production loss of 88 mt of crude oil and 0.15 mm SCM of natural gas, as reported on Wednesday, the PSU said. Operations were disrupted in 14 oil wells and one gas well and cumulative production loss since May 27 last due to blockages as 8482 empty of crude oil and 10.85 mm SCM of natural gas, the OIL added. The Supreme Court today permitted the Centre and the CBSE to cancel the remaining board examinations due to COVID-19 pandemic and gave the go-ahead to its scheme to award marks to students for the cancelled papers scheduled to be held in July. The bench, after perusing the notification of CBSE, allowed the board to issue it and said that Class 10 and 12 exams of CBSE scheduled for July 1 to 15 will be governed by this order. The Apex Court was hearing pleas seeking relief, including scrapping of remaining exams of Class 12 scheduled from July 1 to 15 in view of increasing number of COVID-19 cases. Similar relief was sought by the ICSE board as well. Both CBSE and ICSE told the top court that the results of the class 10 and 12 board exams can be declared by mid of July. The CBSE's assessment scheme approved by the top court said that for the students of both classes 10 and 12 who have completed all their examinations, their results will be declared based on their performance in the exams. The CBSE board said that the examinees of class 12 students of CBSE board will however have the option of either taking the exams later or to move ahead with the assessment based on their performance in the last exams. The re-exam option will not be available to class 10 students. But before we wind up, a quick glance at the headlines. NPP portfolio will be decided after meeting with central leaders, says Chief Minister N. Biren. And Joy Kishan blames NPP BJP MLAs for involving Congress to pull down Chief Minister N. Biren. This brings us to the end of today's news and English. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night.